super grateful to David for his book. Um, all of the stories that were telling today, you can find in that book. And I know that he was telling you all about um, think something that had happened not really all that long ago, but weird things have been happening out in Proctor Valley and out on that road for a really, really long time. And I think that no matter where you've lived in your life or no matter where you wind up, there's somewhere not that far away where everybody knows, maybe they talk about it, maybe they don't, about that place where weird things happen. And one of the stories, man, that sounded so familiar to me was this story about a lady in white that happened down on Proctor Valley Road. Jerry was driving his truck down that dirt road. And as he was driving along, he was thinking to himself, man, I was saving all this money just to get this new to me truck. I put so much work into it. And I kind of hoped that it would help me convince Jackie Wilkie to go to the senior prom with me. That was why he had been saving for this truck. And he thought all his dreams had come true when she said yes. And then the next day she called him up and she said, hey, Jerry, you're not thinking we're going as a date, are you? Um, I, I was thinking maybe, maybe I would just meet you with the rest of my friends when you got to the prom. You don't have to pick me up. Uh, I'll just meet you there. What was he gonna say, right? He said, sure. They're driving along that road, bumping along in his new, new to him truck. He was thinking, I don't even know why I'm going. I rented a tuck, and get there, and Jackie Wilkie, the girl I've had a crush on since fifth grade, she's gonna be hanging out with her friends. She's probably not even gonna dance with me. So while he's driving around, driving, bumping down that road, thought the, thought the suspension was a little better on this truck when I bought it, you know? It's really rough out here. Then the sun was starting to go down, and, and then just before he would have seen sunset, the sky started to match his mood. And it all covered over with clouds. Great. Started to rain spit, mixing in with the dust on his windshield. Turned on the wipers and smeared back and forth and back and forth and turned on the lights and oh my gosh, what was that? Off to the side of the road, the headlights caught something white. An animal? It looked too big. What? It's a girl. It's a girl in a fancy white dress. What is she doing over there? He pulled up and, and he pulled over to the side and he and he rolled down his window and he said, Hey, do you need any help? What's what are you doing out here? He didn't see a car or anything anywhere around. So that girl, she looked up into his truck and she said, Oh yeah. Could you give me a ride? Well, sure. And just as he said that, the sky opened up and it started to pour. So he hopped up outside of the car, what came around and thought, well, I'll just be fancy here. <laughs> he opened the door to let her in and, and he put his coat over her. And you could see she was starting to <coughs> shiver in the, in the rain. So she gets in and he goes back around and he gets in and starts off back down the road and he said, Hey, where are you headed? And she said, well, I'm going to the prom over at Chula Vista High School. No way, that's where I'm headed. And as he looked at her, he saw she had pinned to her white dress a little white rose. Said, well, who are you going with? And a date called and canceled on me. I decided I'd go by myself and my, my dad's car broke down back there and I just started walking. I was really glad you came along. 
Jerry looked over at her and she smiled at him again and thought his heart was going to stop. Oh well, but I could help. <laughs> she said, oh yeah, me too. My name's Rose. I'm Jerry. And as he was driving along, he found himself just telling Rose all about Jackie and how she had called him back the next day to say she's just going to meet him there with her friends and it wasn't at all what he had thought it was going to be and, and then he shut up because, you know, he felt like he was talking too much. So when he chanced to look over at Rose, she was smiling again. Just kind of a movie star smile, he thought. How is it possible that he had never seen this girl at school? Maybe she was new. Thanks again for picking me up. Oh, no, 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 I should be thanking you. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, I was driving out here all by myself, and I'm sure you've heard all these stories about Proctor Valley Road, right? Well, when it gets dark and it starts raining, and your brain starts playing tricks on you, and you, you can start getting creeped out. Yeah, Rose's voice got kind of quavery. Jerry concentrated on driving, not looking at her too much. Yeah, I know just what you're talking about. I used to feel the same way when I was alive. Wait, what? And Jerry turned and he looked at the passenger seat next to him and she was gone. There was nothing there but his own jacket soaking wet from the rain. And that one little white coat. 